If you have hyperemesis gravidarum and are losing weight during pregnancy, you're probably freaking out. You're right, you should be gaining weight during pregnancy. In today's episode of Nourish, I have specialist dietitian Rachel Hazlitt to discuss how much weight loss is too much weight loss during pregnancy and what to do about it. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Nourish. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specializes in nutrition throughout the first thousand days of life, from conception through to toddlerhood, where it sets the foundations for the future health of your baby. Today, we have a special guest, prenatal dietitian, Rachel Hazlitt, who is a two-time survivor of hyperemesis. Welcome, Rachel. So today we have a special guest with us, Rachel Hazlitt, who is a two-time survivor of hyperemesis. Yes. Poor thing, Rach. It was horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. So Rachel, as a dietitian working in this space, when should mamas worry about weight loss during pregnancy? Mm. I think um, weight loss during pregnancy is something that we should always be tracking and keeping an eye on, Mel. So, um, for women, around the 5% mark of your original pre-pregnancy body weight is what we're looking at. So for someone who's around 65 kilos, around 3 kilos of weight loss would be concerning. Or if you're around 85 kilos before you um, get pregnant, around uh, 5 kilos of weight loss, I'd start to be a little bit concerned that maybe something's not going right and you might not be getting the nutrition that you need. So if somebody's not sure how to calculate uh, the percentage of weight loss, um, how, what would be a good solution? I think they could ask their GP or they could come to their prenatal dietitian and we could work it out together. Okay, fantastic. Um, and so I guess if somebody's just having any weight loss, that that might even be a flag that they need to go and have a chat to a dietitian anyway. Definitely, yeah. and that's why it's so important to be a little bit aware of your weight and how it's changing through your pregnancy. Yeah, okay. And what about if somebody isn't losing weight, but they're just not gaining weight? Mm -hmm. um, what would your advice be to them? Mm -hmm. So if they've got hyperemesis and they're not gaining any weight in the first trimester, I'd say that's a pretty good outcome, Mel, because it's really challenging to get the nutrients in when you're vomiting constantly. Um, but as your pregnancy progresses, that's when we really want to see some weight gain happening. So from the second trimester, which is around that 13 week mark, we want to see weight gain happening slowly. And um, depending on your um, body weight, so if you're in a healthy weight zone or if you're slightly overweight, we want to see different targets there coming into play and you can talk to your doctor or your dietitian about what that should be. Okay, so it all sounds pretty stressful. Um, have you got some tips that women can do if they are vomiting regularly throughout their pregnancy and either losing weight or they're concerned about not gaining? Mm -hmm. Reaching out for help, it's so important. So you really need to get a really good team behind you. So making sure you've got a good GP who's helping you monitor things and manage medications, which are really important. Mm -hmm. But then also getting a really good dietitian, prenatal specific, is so important. So finding someone that understands where you're coming from and what you're going through. So in terms of tips there, we're looking at things like making sure you're ad getting adequate fluid, okay? Mm -hmm. Being um, underhydrated in pregnancy is really dangerous. So making sure you're getting enough fluid there and replenishing your fluid with things like electrolyte drinks or ice blocks, mm -hmm. that kind of thing's really important. The other thing that you can do if you are struggling to gain weight during pregnancy is look at trying some small regular meals and choosing things that you can sort of manage is the most important thing if you've got hyperemesis. So, for some women that might be just dry crackers or something like that. Mm. But you can talk to your prenatal dietitian and they can help you figure out the most nourishing foods that are gonna help you gain weight and get that nutrition that your body needs there. Mm. I find that some women, like there's a bit of a preconception that dietitians are only either about weight loss or you know, eating healthy foods like salad um, at any time, but especially during pregnancy. Mm. What would you say to those people who think that that's what a dietitian does? 
Well, having been through hyperemesis, the only things that I could stand were things like baked beans and toast, and that's what I ate for a really long period of time. So I understand, and as dietitians, we understand that there's going to be foods that you can't possibly eat. So I actually went vegetarian during my pregnancies, and um, because I've got some knowledge there, I was able to pick things that were going to nourish my body. Um, so yeah, we're not all about being perfect with your diet. Yeah, I think that's such an important message for people to hear, mm. um, that it is just about getting the best results with what you've got to work with. Mm. Okay, so the key message is definitely to get personalised advice from a dietitian who specialises in pregnancy. You'll find Rachel's details in the description box below this video. For other nutrition tips during pregnancy and beyond, make sure that you subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you have hyperemesis gravidarum, uh, that too far, because I've got to do that intro bit first. Oh. Yeah, great, thanks.